Okay, Presley, what was your Broadway debut? Fun Home. Fun Home, and did you, were you an understudy? How did that I happen? I was an understudy, and I went on as a boy. Oh, you did? That was my Broadway debut. Okay, Carrie, what was your Broadway debut? Um, it was Blood Brothers. Oh, Blood Brothers. And I was the swing, but for opening night, they um, let all of us, I think it was for opening night, they let all of us go on stage, like, for the finale. And so uh, that was my Broadway debut, yeah. Natalie, what was yes. your Broadway debut? My Broadway debut was the 2014 revival of Les Miserables as oh my the God. hair hack. <gasps> yes, I was professional Parisian whore. Okay, what was your Broadway debut, Rob? My Broadway debut was the 2002 revival of a play called I'm Not Rappaport with Joan Hirsch <gasps> and Ben Green. Oh yeah, no big deal. And I was working in the Paper Mill Playhouse box office. So the Paper Mill asked me if I want to understudy the part. And I said, I'm making $600 a week in the box <laughs> office. Can I keep my box office job and understudy the show? I'll be in the building. If you need me, just call my phone extension and I'll come put on the costume. And Amazing. they let me. So I was oh. understudying from the box office. And then two weeks in, they decided that the show was going to Broadway and they were bringing everyone. So what was that first night like for you? I lost my damn mind. I bought a journal that night. And I had a dressing room on Schubert Alley that I could like sit on and I was looking at Schubert Alley <laughs> and I wrote on the first page of that journal I made it and then I didn't work again for four years <laughs> Hi Abe, okay, so tell me what was it like to make your Broadway debut? Uh, well, it was in this very show in this very theater Beetlejuice and uh, It was a full body high and when I was in the moments before walking out, I think I actually whispered to myself, you're doing this. <laughs> okay, Sean, what was your Broadway debut? What show and what was it like? Uh, my Broadway debut was in Matilda. <gasps> uh, it was awesome. It was at the Schubert Theater and super historic. What were you doing in it? Uh, I was understudying Miss Trunchbull and Mr. Wormwood. Uh, I had a bunch of different roles in the ensemble. And what would you like give advice to someone going on like Katie tonight? like? Oh man, on. well it's it's always so hard, you just gotta try to soak it up as much as you can, but there's just uh, enjoy all the energy that we're all gonna give her and, and uh, just soak up that bow, because it's you earned it, you made it, you did it. Okay Gilbert, tell me, what was your Broadway debut like and what show was it in? Okay, my Broadway debut was in The Book of Mormon, and it was awesome. Uh, only because I had to say some pretty intense things about my private parts and do some fun things to toys, and I did it and it was awesome, and I got laughs. I actually got laughs on the first time. I was like, okay, great. Um, and I managed not to fall down the stairs when we were all trailing up. Like, I managed not to, like, mess up anybody's choreography. I felt really good. Actually, yeah, my Broadway debut, this is nice to recall. My Broadway debut was fun. Hey, Ryan, tell me about your Broadway debut. Okay, my Broadway debut was lit. I was in Newsies, it was my first Broadway show. Yeah. It was so much fun. The audience was incredible, in the Nederlanda, with the chicken coop, fifth floor, all the boys were there. Tommy Bracco was there. Big Brother, watch it right now, he's gonna win. My Broadway debut was incredible. It was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, original Broadway cast, first Broadway show. When I found out I booked it, I went to Broadway.com's group sales and I bought 20 seats in the back of the mezzanine for all of my best friends and family members. So I had like 30 people there and it was amazing. It was like one of the best nights of my life. Hi, my name is Kelvin Mulo. I made my Broadway debut in the 2014 revival of Sideshow as the half man, <laughs> half woman. When you oh. got the news that you booked I cried. the show, you did? I cried. I was with Kayla Settle. Oh, yes! In Chinatown, and I cried. And she filmed me, and I. I guess She's the she, best person to have that moment with. She like held me in her bosoms and was like, I'm so happy for you. I don't know who was happier. Well, Katie's making her Broadway debut tonight. So if you I'm had so excited. Did you know Katie Lombardo is from my hometown? No way. We're from Franklin Square, Long Island. So if you were going to give her any advice, what would it be? Don't mess it up. <laughs> okay, Dana. So tell me what, what was it like to make your Broadway debut in Beetlejuice? It was pretty amazing. I think for many reasons, one, is that it's so rare that you get to make your Broadway debut in something that you've developed from the very, very beginning. It was super exciting. I cried probably 14 <laughs> times that day <laughs> because it's this huge momentous thing where you realize a dream, but you also have to hold it together because you have to do your actual job. Um, but it was amazing. And I think the outpouring of love from all the people around you is kind of the thing you remember the most and all yeah. the people that reach out to you. And then you realize the work is only beginning because you still have to do the whole show. show. <laughs> Eight times a Eight week! Eight times a week! Hi, 
Hi, I'm Alex Brightman, and I was, uh, I'm in Beetlejuice, and my Broadway debut was in a show called Glory Days that opened and closed in one night. Hi, I'm Sophia, and my Broadway debut was Blackbird uh, on Broadway Play with Michelle uh, Williams and Jeff Daniels, and Here we go. Katie's Broadway debut. You can probably hear people in the background screaming. It's very exciting. It's quite an achievement, and nothing feels like that. Okay, Joe, what was your Bobby debut? How was that like for you? It was unbelievable. Martin Short, Fame Becomes Me. It was like working with your idols, your heroes. Um, my callback was like right in front of Martin Short and the whole team, and it was unbelievable. But then I had to go to a final, final callback at um, Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman's apartment, and it was like in that their was studio. A, yes, I remember that apartment. And so um, after the song, they started talking about the show, and I'm still sitting there like, okay, and they were like, and Scott said, oh. Oh, you got the job, and I didn't. I didn't know that I had gotten it, and I was like, I kept it together, and then I left the room and burst into tears. Called my mother. I was like, I can pay my credit. Did you card. cry in that elevator yes. coming down Wept from their apartment with the key, the private floors? <laughs> my Broadway debut was in 1999, and I did The Tempest, uh, starring Patrick Stewart. Oh, that's no big deal. Yeah, it was nothing, you know, just him. Um, and I just come out of grad school, and I used to warm up, you know, get everything ready, oh, <laughs> you know, shake everything out, and do all my stretching and all that stuff. And Patrick would walk by, and he'd go, ha, 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 ha. All right, let's go. And that was it. Ha, 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 pa, pa, pa. Patrick Stewart. Ha, 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 pa, pa, pa. All right, let's go. And then I just want to show you one thing. Yeah. I just came across, speaking of. If I can bring it up real quick. Yeah. So I was, uh, I had a small part of the bosun who drives the boat into the rocks. That's my big thing. And then when I would go on for another part, I don't know if you can see that. Look who my understudy was. Point. Can you see it? Rain Wilson? Yeah. Nothing ever happened with that guy. <laughs> Poor little guy. He was so skinny and weird. <laughs>